On my way in, I took a conference call with uh, the city of Mesa for a new gas line that they want to install in one of our projects. At 10 o'clock, we had a meet and greet design. with um, a contractor. At 11 o'clock, I had a little project meeting to on this afternoon. I had um, a meeting with our right-of-way agent and our county attorney. It's all over the place every day. <laughs> I like the variety. It is, you know, getting out with our maintenance staff to talk about project specifics in the field, or it could be presenting projects and abandonments at our board meetings. It's coordinating with um, attorneys, with design consultants, um, with in-house staff on policy and procedure. So it, it runs the gamut. So this is, you know, I wanted to be a wedding planner or a florist. I attended an internship program when I was a junior in high school. I was taking calculus class and um, ASU came and said, hey, we're gonna offer this women in science and engineering program over the summer. Would you like to come? I applied and I went and I learned about engineering, which when you first think about engineering is pocket protectors and, and, and numbers. And that's just not me. Like you can clearly see that, <laughs> that is not me. But after I went there and learned that it's multitudes of problem solving outside of just the math and the physics and the science, it's really a hands-on field, but people don't really see it that way. My actual bachelor's degree is in industrial and management systems, so my degree is not necessarily a civil engineering degree because a civil engineer is a public works type function um, but but at the same time the industrial engineering degree provides for the communication element and all these little it's like pieces of every type of engineering mixed into one so I feel like that's what helped me you know take this job over here because I felt like I could adapt to learning um, all of the facets of being a civil engineer. This is where you truly build relationships when you're trying to work on projects, when you're trying to coordinate with people. It's pretty rewarding to be able to look at something on a piece of paper and then be able to drive on it, right? A year from then. That's huge, that's huge. Like, I love that, I love that. Well, the Hunt Highway Corridor. My family and I, we've driven it multiple times and I will mention that that's a project that I worked on and that I'm proud of. And I like that it's a team, like it's the accountants, it's my inspectors, it's our construction managers, it's the designer, we all take pride in that. One of the few women and one of the few Hispanic women. It's really, yeah, I think since then you know that was many years ago but i think since then it's come a long way but yeah it was hard to find another female i think maybe 10 years ago yeah they would be wondering maybe how a woman got the role but i don't think now it's it's necessarily that situation you know we meet with a lot of people for instance we had a public meeting last night um and i think they look at the team of us as public works staff as just the team, you know, when they ask questions of all of us equally. I mean, I don't think there is a huge difference now um, with me in kind of an engineering role. We're working with Heather on the Hobie Hills trying to get that project kicked off. Ultimately, I'd love to be a public works director someday. And I don't know if that's necessarily here with the county, but I think that's really an ultimate goal for me. But at the same time, capital project improvements, it's so rewarding. I feel like if I can help somebody learn something new, because yes, we're all here to learn new things, and, and there's a lot of new folks, so if I can help somebody learn something, I think that's, that's a big accomplishment. Take a chance, right? Take a chance on engineering. Take a chance on being an engineer, even an engineering technician, an entry level position, and see what it's all about because you might really be surprised in the end about, you know, where you end up.